the the idea that we talked about was um, the idea of unique ability, um, which is which is a, a pretty you know it, it's a pretty cool concept. It's not my own concept, so I'll, I'll, full disclosure: there is a great um, great guy by the name of Dan Sullivan, um, who's been a phenomenal coach for a lot of um, successful uh, high profit companies. And the idea goes is 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 pretty sim- simple. It's everybody has one or two things, typically one that is something they can be absolutely amazed and fascinated by for the rest of their life, right? So that's the question. It's a simple question, but it's, 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 a, it's a powerful one if you have the, the strength and the intestinal fortitude to actually sit with that question and, and dig all the way in. Let me explain. So the question is, what one thing can you absolutely be fascinated by for the rest of your life and and guess what sometimes you might not be able to come up with it the, the answer right away but but here's what i know for 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 sure pretty much everybody listening including yourself liam you're going to have a column of like what it is and what it's not right and the easier column to fill at least in the beginning is going to be what it's not and so once you start filling out that column, you'll start to feel the frustration leaving your body because like, you're like, oh, that's definitely not what I want to do. That's definitely not what I want to do. That's definitely not what I want to do. And slowly you start to see patterns. You're like, you know what? I really like doing that. And I really like doing that. I really like doing that. And so slowly, as you start to eliminate majority of the things that you don't want, you'll start to land on the things that actually are something that that not only do you want to do, that you like doing, but you're the most profitable in doing. Typically, the things you're the best at are the things that, that can bring value to the economy if you work really well with other people. And that's the most important part. Not everybody can do everything, especially if you have a big vision and, 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 and great kind of ideas of how to move and, and change the world, change the future, make money, do whatever, whatever it is you, you want to do. You're going to have to work together with people. You're going to have to work with other people who have unique abilities that are very separate from your abilities. You have, you have to like communicate and be able to join forces knowing that even if what you want to create is you don't have all the skills to be able to do that, that's absolutely fine. The cool thing is as long as you confront the truth, you can start to say, okay, well, we need more people. And we need people who can do this and this and this while I do this. So we can all do what we're really good at that's profitable and we can make a difference in the world. So finding and digging in and drilling and being able to be in your unique ability every day, that's a journey, right? That's a journey. Chances are tomorrow you're not going to be waking up and be like, you know what? 100% of the time, I'm going to be doing my unique ability. It doesn't happen that way, right? A lot of the time, people don't even know what their, their unique ability is. They have some kind of idea, like a hazy idea, and that's very common. It's very normal. But, but true meaning, purpose, drive, those things happen when you choose to spend time in the way that you want to spend them in the greatest kind of in the greatest service of the world, right? Um, and meaningful work, meaningful relationships, these are extremely important things. And the greatest meaningful work is doing the thing that you enjoy the most that brings the most value to people. 